ない世界で俺の住んでた世界の価値観を押し付けるのは違うかだったら俺の役目は分かったただし殺す時は俺で切れいいな<笑>なんで青猫族の俺が黒猫族ごときに Episode number eight of Reincarnated as a Sword was a really cute episode. I was gonna say, like, really great episode.、Uh, I don't think that was it. I think it was a good episode and it was really, really cute. And I think it really did serve a purpose. Now, I do have to off the jump, I have to talk about the little preview that they gave us for next episode with Fran. Fighting Amanda, which is the A rank adventurer, or should we call her Haha, <laughs> short for Mama?、Uh, because the A rank adventurer, Amanda, I think they're doing a like a bait and switch for next episode. You know, the next episode is called Amanda, the A rank adventurer, or something is a monster, or it might just be called A rank adventure is a monster. But basically, they have her doing a Mizuchi strike. Fighting、uh, Fran, and they have Shisho playing the narrator as always, saying, like, Oh, we weren't expecting this. And I really think it's a bait and switch. I really think that they are truly going to be going to do this dungeon stuff with the, with the other party members and stuff, and with Amanda. And I simply think that her fighting Fran in the preview episode or the preview for next episode is really just like a training or something. Like, it's really just them. Training and her kind of pushing Fran to the limits, trying to like break the barrier of her next thing. Or it could be that she's fighting Fran to kind of show the other naysayers who are tagging along. I think it's one of the two things. And the, the latter of which is probably the more likely because the guild master did say, hey, there's a lot of people who are、uh, not believing that you ranked up so quickly to D rank. Apparently, rank ups are very, very important. There's a lot of people who aren't believing that, that you could do that so quickly just simply based off skills. They think that there's something else there. So, it, you know, between Amanda and Fran, or maybe just Amanda on her own, she could have concocted a plan to, hey, let me show off. What Fran can do by sparring with her. And coincidentally, that'll also help her train and make her stronger, maybe even level up as well. So it could be like a two, like a, like a two birds, one stone situation. That's what I think is going on. Now, they could pull a,、uh, a reverse Uno card on me, and she could be. Evil or have other intentions or something else. I really don't think that's the case though, but it can happen. So I put that energy out there that I could, I, what I just said could be entirely wrong and it, she could just be like a, a jerk. So we'll see. Uh, the rest of the episode、uh, I thought was really, really good. Like I said, I don't think it was a great episode, but I thought it was a good episode. I think the best part of the episode、uh, for me was the blue cat,、uh, blue cat, black cat face off. Um, I wasn't a big fan. I know, so let me say this because、uh, I know people get like all boo hoo y. So I didn't personally, me personally, not that it's the greater good, the greater audience might like it. I didn't like the way that she allowed herself, Fran, to be victimized and to be. Nearly destroyed on a mental capacity by the blue cat simply existing in her circumference. Okay. Now, I guess there's a lot of trauma there with the blue cats, what she's been through personally, what her family's been through with her mother and father, her family, whatever. But, like, in that moment, she has, she's made so much progress. She is so strong. She just fought a greater demon that she has this piece of shit black,、uh, sorry, piece of shit blue cat. In front of her, and she's like trembling, you know, at this point. Now, I get it's because of trauma, and I get that the anime was trying to really, really sell us on it, you know, with the snot and the and the, and the the tears, and and she s h o u l d go, i n g it's okay, Fran. Like, I just wasn't a big fan of that. I understand what they were trying to do. Did they accomplish that? Sure. Was, was I enjoying that moment? No. I thought it could have been done a little bit. Better, they could have sold the trauma, but less of the way that it was displayed. I don't know how to explain it. I just simply did not enjoy that scene. Now, right after when she finally is like, F this guy, and she was able to kind of reinvigorate herself. I love when her eyes turn little itty bitty bitty,、uh, and she was like, Wow. And you're like, What happened? You know, it was like when somebody unsheathed their sword real quick, and it's like, you know, he was cut, you know what I mean? So she cut his arm. 
Uh, and I literally wrote, yeah, you, <laughs> I literally wrote down here, yeah, torture that mother effer. Um, you know, she cut his arm and she was like, I'm gonna throw this in my, in my infinite storage. She's like, I bet I can fit, I can't fit you, but if I cut you up, I can. And I was like, damn, Fran. Uh, and she, yeah, she cut him left ways on Sunday. She killed him. Good for her. I love the way she knocked his head off. I thought that was awesome. Probably the best part of this episode. The rest of it, though, was just about her meeting the big titty elf. I mean, the A rank, <laughs> A rank adventurer, Amanda. Uh, Amanda trying to, you know, really uh, just stalk her. She was just stalking her the entire episode, which she did very well. Uh, you know, Fran asked Nell if she's crazy. She said a little bit. Uh, and then she just kind of kept following her. Eventually, Guildmaster wanted her to go on a newer quest because he doesn't want to be a. Um, Little girl lover, I guess. You know, he doesn't want to be seen as somebody who is showing favoritism and benefiting from it, essentially. So he wants to send her on this request. The Amanda lady comes, and she's going to go with her uh, as well. Uh, and then also, I'm very interested to know that Shisho did gain the skill called Kin, kin Summon. So I'm wondering what kind of kin he will have. I wrote down, is he going to have a bunch of swords appear? Who knows? So I guess that will remain to be seen, but that's exciting for next episode. So good transitional episode. I really like the the badassery when she took down the, the blue cat. I don't like the before kind of like the shakiness and stuff. I wasn't a big fan of that. I get how some can like that, and I think it did accomplish what it was trying to do. I just wasn't a fan of it. Uh, I, I like the torture stuff afterwards and the Amanda stuff. I mean, it was fine. We'll see what ends up coming next episode. I think next episode is going to matter more. This is just kind of, a, again, transitional introductor, introductory episode for Amanda. All right, let me know what you guys thought. Of course, as always, I appreciate you guys being here. And I'll see you guys next week for another episode of Reincarnated as a Sword. Peace.